So what are Vlad's next moves? What's going on in his head? Is he crazy? Is he desperate? Is this a cold, hard calculator who premeditated this invasion for decades? He has much larger ambitions in Ukraine. He wants to, in fact, reestablish the former Soviet Union. That's what this is about. The only thing that I'm convinced of is if we don't stop now, he'll be emboldened. It's all about one thing, power. Russia's always been an empire. The size of the country is ridiculous. It stretches from Asia to Europe, pulling a bunch of different ethnicities in many different regions. The empire's always expanding. And when it's not expanding, it's shrinking. That's why Putin took Crimea back in 2014, to restore Russian pride and power after the humiliating collapse of the Soviet Union. It's why he's going into Ukraine now, restore Russia's rightful borders, create a buffer against the West. Plus, Russia's dying and needs more people to keep it going. Putin created a cult for himself in Russia. He's admired for reigniting Russian pride and power, but fear keeps him on top. It's no secret that Putin's not above targeted assassinations of his political enemies. If he doesn't poison you, maybe you'll just disappear into Siberia. What kind of sick tyrant is Biden up against? Ivan the Terrible? Or more of a Russian mobster seeing what he can get away with? Let's ask Rebecca Koffler, Russian-born former U.S. intelligence officer, who joins me now. All right. So, Rebecca, what is your psychological profile of Vladimir Putin? What does he want? Vladimir Putin is not insane. He's not irrational, delusional, or mentally unstable. This was a psychological evaluation conducted by a U.S psychiatrist who is a professional uh, medical doctor who evaluated nuclear missileers uh, before they went on duty to guard our nuclear weapons. He's quite a typical culturally of all Russian authoritarian leaders. Like you just said, Jesse, this is the, he comes from the same culture that produced Ivan the Terrible, who killed his own son, and Joseph Stalin, who murdered millions of people. So he doesn't have any empathy for anybody, including his own people. Well, you keep hearing about the sanctions, the sanctions, and how's Putin going to deal with his own countrymen not having the things that they need. I, that doesn't cross his mind, does it? He doesn't care. He just wants more land. Is that right? He absolutely does not have any consideration for anyone, uh, certainly not enough to uh, stop uh, the bloodshed in Ukraine. But in terms of sanctions, actually, he is also a very astute and skilled economic planner. So he has been sanction-proofing uh, Russian economy since 2014. And it is really a shame that our president, Joe Biden, keeps pushing this absurd policy. And during his time as a vice president of uh, former President Obama, Joe Biden absolutely had every single briefing where he learned what Putin was up to, and yet he didn't take the opportunity to, to develop a viable counter strategy against Putin. And this is why we are in this condition right now where we have no leverage against this tyrant. Yeah, you can't sanction this guy to death. That's not going to work. How vicious a guy is he? You, you, we've been told about the poisonings. You know, he'll make you disappear into a work camp. Is there any folklore about this tyrant? Is there, are there stories that people talk about that, that it instills a sense of fear within the population in Russia? Oh, absolutely. I mean, P Putin has likely authorized every single uh, targeted assassination, like uh, that of uh, Alexander Litvinenko, who was a British citizen and a former FSB officer, which is a Russian domestic security service, uh, also authorized the poisoning of GRU officer Sergei Skripal and his daughter uh, with the nerve-grade 
Norwegian-made agent, military Norwegian-made agent, Norvichok. But Putin, again, he's a former KGB officer, and it runs in the family. His own uh, father was with the Russian secret police, and he was conducting sabotage operations behind the enemy lines. As we know, Putin has done many such things. You know, remember Navalny? Uh, he's the opposition leader who was poisoned by uh, the Russians placing some uh, Novichok in his underwear, of all things. These are very, very creative and brutal characters. That's one place you do not want poison. Thank you so much, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse.